in this episode, I'm going to break down the form of content that you should be creating every single day. And this type of content, 93% of people are saying this converts them higher than any other form of content out there. Let's go. And welcome to episode 12 of the Engaging Niche HCP Audience. And I'm your host, Jason Fair. And I'm excited to talk about today's topic as I teed it up in the intro. 93% of people are saying this type of content, breaking news, it's specifically around video strategies. And most people watching this podcast have probably tested and are currently leveraging video. This is what I call state of the union. And at the end of this video, if it's been helpful, uh, it's been hopefully going to take your video strategy to the next level. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and I look forward to sharing this information. And let me put it up here on the screen. So this information, full disclosure, is from a video platform. Uh, they, they've they been around for a decade now. They're based in Canada. But what they do is they have a platform specifically around how you can host videos. It's a much better experience for the user on your website and then also getting into analytics, but it's called Vidyard. Um, I've been using Vidyard for many, many years and recommend it way before um, you know, the, 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 what we call a video player on your website. So when you're thinking about optimizing your video strategy, take a look at Vidyard, but let's get into the metrics. Let's get into the report. Uh, one of the reports here, it's probably 37 pages. I condensed it specifically to showcase what healthcare companies are doing in the video space when it comes to strategy, content creation, different forms of content that you should be creating. One of the highlights of this talks about specifically around product demos, right? So those are, it is one of the most um, types of videos produced out there. It's a product demo, right? Um, it could be like an explainer video. That's also in this data. But really what's trending uh, in the healthcare space, 47% of companies have invested in some sort of product demo video, which makes a lot of sense. So if you have a product de demo uh, created and you're leveraging it, uh, look at the back end, look at the metrics and see how long people are watching it, whether through a Vidyard tool or it could be something like you've got this on YouTube, obviously, and analyzing. But if you haven't uh, produced a product demo, check it out for sure. Uh, for healthcare companies, uh, again, this is kind of the latest and greatest when it comes to reports. Uh, again, I'm calling this the, the healthcare state of the union uh, video strategy stats. So healthcare companies are creating 23% uh, more videos than they did the previous year. That's an opportunity, I feel, if you're not creating video content on a regular basis, your competitors are, and they're continuing to increase. And these are the average number of all videos per company by industry. This report goes beyond healthcare. Obviously, people watching this are in the healthcare space, so I'm going to focus on healthcare. So we've got, uh, it looks like 252, but it's kind of cool to look at other industries. So you see real estate, manufacturing, distribution, professional services. So I'm kind of surprised, uh, not at the high tech being up there, but financial services. Um, I, you know, I felt and still uh, feel that it's fairly conservative industry, but they're showing financial services or along with high tech are one of the top industries when it comes to producing videos. So healthcare uh, looks like we're behind when it comes to that. But again, I see that as an opportunity where there's still a lot of ways that you can create a variety of different content. And we're going to get into that here in a moment where we talk about different types of content that health uh, care companies are leveraging. Healthcare companies are creating uh, at least 19% of that um, video content is around user generated videos. Okay. So there's an opportunity for if you're just starting out or if you've got uh, your video strategy and it's humming and it's doing pretty good, think about upping your game when it comes to user generated videos. It looks like there's an opportunity, not like you can see where uh, real estate is blowing it out, right? 155% more user generated compared to last year. Um, and it makes sense, obviously, but for healthcare specifically, there's some really cool ways that you can generate a lot of user generated videos, whether that's through KOL interviews, um, you know, subject matter experts, your leadership team. Those are some great ways that you can develop some really good user generated videos. Here's the average number of users generated videos by company per industry. I think I just kind of shared a little bit about this too, but if you look at it at, at an overall industry perspective, there's again, healthcare is kind of on the bottom tier, high tech, financial, professional services. Those are all up there, but 
I still see this as a huge opportunity for healthcare to create a lot more user generated content. We're starting to see, I'm starting to see, we're starting to create a lot of user generated content, even around, obviously we've been doing this for many, many years, but around conferences, but it looks like there's still some ceiling to grow when it comes to developing that user generated videos. Here's the average number of produced videos uh, created per company by industry. And if we look at healthcare here in the middle at 120, middle of the road, I still think there's a great opportunity that healthcare is not creating enough videos, in my opinion. And I'm not for sure why, but healthcare is one of the most complex um, industries out there. Similar to financial services, that's why they crank out a lot of content. Similar to high tech, that's why they're creating a lot of content. So as you know, healthcare marketers listening to this, I think you've got some room to grow when it comes to producing more videos. Uh, here's a great stat from the state of healthcare here. It's why are large, large companies creating more user uh, uh, generated videos? Uh, obviously, smaller companies have been doing this for many, many years. It's low cost, low lift, but it's got high impact. And now the bigger enterprises, as it states here, are getting into the party too. So word is out. It's a great way to do it. Uh, User-generated contents that can either be produced on your iPhone or it can be produced by a professional like video company, right? So there's definitely different ways that you can create user-generated videos. How we're doing it specifically for our clients, it's typically uh, around the conference strategy. So you've got your key opinion leaders, you got your subject matter experts, as I mentioned before, at a conference, it's a great cost-effective way to do it. But you can also do those interviews on your iPhone, right? So it just depends on what sort of quality that you want and how you're leveraging those videos. Most clients in our space are leveraging somewhat on social, but really for the website. And if that's the case, if you're leveraging for your website, you definitely want a little bit more higher quality. So here are the, how are marketers using video? Uh, this is across the landscape. So it's across all those industries, not just focused on healthcare, but the top three most commonly used types of uh, produced videos, as I earlier mentioned, it's a product demo video, explainer video, and then recording webinars. And here are some of the recent stats. 47% of companies have invested in a demo video, 35% have been done in explainer video, and then 33% have been recording webinars. I don't have a stat specifically to healthcare, so this is just take this with a grain of salt across all those different industries. Everything is obviously up, and these are the three uh, key types of videos. In the next few slides, I'm going to talk about where the real opportunity is uh, going to be for healthcare companies as we move on to this year and into 2024. So here's a quick, the, basically just a bar graph of what I just mentioned. Product demos, 47%. It's the number one. So here's the key for healthcare clients, and this is where I'm seeing an opportunity for healthcare, life science, biotech medical device companies, anybody that's trying to influence a physician, um, a la healthcare professionals, and you're trying to influence them about your test, about your solution, about your medical device, here at the bottom is a low percent in my opinion. Now, again, these are across all industries, but thought leadership at 20%, FAQ videos at 18%. This is where I see a huge opportunity for growth in healthcare and where they can help stand out amongst competitors continue to create thought leadership. How do you do that? Well, capturing KOLs, as I mentioned, in a conference strategy, getting your subject matter expert, doesn't have to be at a conference, but capturing them, getting your subject matter expert also to uh, answer all those frequently asked questions. So FAQs, in my opinion, should be one of your number ones. Uh, thought leadership should be right up there to, as well, one or two. FAQs, the, the sales team. I mean, think about it. If you've got a complex healthcare solution and you're trying to grow your adoption, FAQs are the, the gold, right? Because sales can leverage it, market can leverage it. You can either do it by a talking head or you can do motion graphics and animation. FAQs really help get your prospect up to speed and also thought leadership. Peer-to-peer -peer content is liquid gold when it comes to video strategies. You should be leveraging those. So that's the big takeaway on this slide. And the biggest opportunities in healthcare, again, are around thought leadership. And then also when it comes to using your subject matter experts for FAQ style videos. Video links, this is always a major topic for clients. How long do we need to create, you know, create these videos? What's the average video link? 
Uh, fun fact, it looks like across all industries, the average video length is around 15 minutes. 60% of videos are under two minutes. Videos that are between two to four minutes are seeing the biggest growth. Two, two years ago, everything was under two minutes. Nowadays, it's two minutes and four minutes. The reason I'm, um, I think it's longer now is because most people are consuming videos a little bit longer. Also, the video production quality's um, uh, gotten so much better too. So instead of just watching that all talking head style subject matter expert or KOL video, there's um, interspersing a lot of um, motion graphics, animation, and or B-roll to keep the viewer engaged. Also, storytelling elements are helping the video length as well. Uh, below this, you can see the users, like 35% of videos under thir under one minute have gone up two minutes. Those are the other stats you can see below there. But the big takeaway for this slide is really talking about um, videos going up and the biggest growth in that two to four minute range. And a lot of the things that I just mentioned are, are the causing that. Video, when it comes to viewer engagement and attention span, 53% of viewers will watch a video all the way through, pretty high. 66% uh, of viewers will finish a video if it's under one minute. So think about that too. If you've got a lot of FAQs that are under a minute, that could be a way to nurture someone instead of putting out a long three minute video, think about shorter digestible videos um, and testing it. I mean, I think that's the big thing here is testing your video content strategy, seeing how it's working, seeing if you're actually getting that average click through of 3% as it's showing up here on the screen. Uh, specifically recommendations for marketers. Uh, this is where I talked a little bit earlier when it talks to healthcare companies and leveraging a lot of that um, user generated content. So the user generated content, again, are the big, the, the two big takeaways here are around leveraging your FAQs with your subject matter experts. That's a huge opportunity for you moving forward. Uh, so you want to focus on that because the sales team can leverage those to get more meetings. The marketing team obviously can educate their prospects through the buyer's journey. Uh, the other thing you want to uh, think about is testimonials. That's the second big takeaway. Leverage your peer-to-peer -peer KOLs for those. And honestly, that's the latest and greatest when it comes to the uh, State of the Union video address. So as you map out the rest of this year and into next year, your video content strategies, I hope this podcast has been helpful. If it has, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and look forward to connecting with you soon. Bye for now.